Wait, I could put you down for how many copies? No, seriously. Yeah, no, we have we have this big Nintendo E3 extravaganza going on. Four days during E3, $3,500 worth of giveaways. Like, we have over 20 different companies partnering with us. Yeah, dude, it, it's insane. So wait a sec. How many copies are you giving us for the giveaway? 25? Are you... Are you... You guys are awesome. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, I got, I, I got, I got someone on the other line. One second. Hello? Hey, Doug! How's it going, Doug? Oh, yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm looking at my E3 2019 badge, like, right here. Um, I mean, it says I'm a gamer, so clearly I'm a verified actual gamer. You know, if you don't have something that says gamer on it, you know. Yeah, no. Well, what, what can I do for you, man? You're here to verify some of these leaks I'm about to report here, some of these rumors? What, what's, the, what's the deal on Breath of the Wild 2? You don't even like Zelda games? Maybe you should quit your job and hire Reggie back. At least then he could tease us about never getting Mother 3. Wait a second. You're giving us an exclusive demo of Breath of the Wild 2? That we're debuting on our stream during E3? What is happening? Okay. Yep. Oh, man. I better go. Oh, dude, they, they, thanks so much. Yeah, no, so, no we'll, we'll, we'll meet. We'll have a conversation, Bowser. Doug Bowser in. We'll, we'll have a combo next week. How's that sound? Oh, yeah, dude. Our E3 stream is going to be popping off this year. All right. Yeah, bye. All right, I better get uh, ready here. I have video to record Link. Skurvo. Banjo. You guys ready for this? You guys weren't listening to that, were you? All right, let's get into uh, the video here. We have a bunch of stuff to cover, a couple pages here. Um, and it covers various rumors and, and, and leaks and all that. I get it, okay? I mean, I would literally be tinfoil hatting this video right now if I could find my tinfoil hat. It, like, ran off on me. I think the tinfoil hat's getting tired of me using it as a crux. But it doesn't matter because we're here with a bunch of stuff. We have stuff about a new Donkey Kong game coming. A new DK game coming from reliable sources. Uh, we have information on potential new Metroid games. And then an entire list of games that we're supposedly getting in 2021 and 2022. Uh, I assume some of this announced at E3. Some of it's ports and remix. Some of it's brand new games coming from third party and first party Nintendo. What is going on? Let's get right into this. And the first stuff, originally I got this from Andre's Restart. Big shout out to him. He's helping us out with our E3 coverage this year. He will be stopping on as a special guest. I might have him on uh, a podcast episode as well during the... It was, there's just some plans happening behind the scenes here. But Andre's Restart reached out to our good friend. Our good friend. Samus Hunter 2, who has be slowly become one of the best Nintendo leakers around, uh, and talked about Donkey Kong. But before we get into it, we have a couple notes here. First off, um, there's a new Donkey Kong ga game supposedly being made by the Mario Odyssey team. That's kind of what the big crux of this is. Uh, and these rumors actually started a little while ago when Nate the Hate, a.k.a. Nate Drake at Reset Era, Nate the Hate, go, go watch his podcast or go watch him on uh, Spawncast every Saturday. Uh, he posted on Reset Area that a new Donkey Kong game is happening, period. He, this was like a few months back. So old old hat. This rumor started a while ago. And then it was backed up by another supposed industry insider on Reset Era. Uh, hasn't been banned yet. Usually Reset Era bans people if they lie. So it is what it is. Zippo. Um, and he stated that a new Donkey Kong game is happening. Uh, but he's not really sure if it's 3D, you know, like Donkey Kong 64 style, or if it's more like what we've gotten with the Tropical Freeze games. And, you know, the Donkey Kong Country games, I should say. So, uh, we'll see. Andre's Restart, though, had this very interesting question for Samus Hunter 2, and that was, Hey, what the hell do you know is going on with Donkey Kong? Have you heard anything? Here is Samus Hunter's very long response. Yes. Early this year, I was able to find some information on many upcoming Nintendo projects slash plans. It feels like I need to reach out to Samus Hunter and figure out what that many projects and plans are. 
Samus Hunter, check your DMs. <laughs> um, and Donkey Kong was one of them. I could only read small excerpts, and unfortunately, I don't have any pictures of the game. For those that wonder why that matters, Samus Hunter 2 has typically had screenshots and or images that go along with their information. So, doesn't this time around, but admits to seeing something. Uh, Nintendo plans to revitalize the Donkey Kong IP with the goal of making it as popular as it was during the SNES and N64 era. It's no coincidence that in addition to the game, Nintendo has plans for a DK-themed Super Nintendo World expansion, which, by the way, we've seen preliminary plans for this before, so that is something we know exists. And the recent update to Diddy Kong's artwork, which, again, we also know happened, uh, is another step in making the characters more modern in their depiction. The new artwork, though, is mainly related to just a general marketing thing, and it's not something from a specific new game. At most, they might tie the artwork to a spinoff, but as far as I'm aware, it's just a general marketing image. As for the game, it's a return to an in-house production under the guidance of EPD Tokyo Team, which is also one of the groups that controls the Mario franchise. This is also one of the teams that worked on Mario Odyssey. Uh, in the experts, they talk about 3D environments, but it's not clear if they just mean 3D like Mario Odyssey or designed in 2.5D like Tropical Freeze with 3D environments. Uh, so... Stopping there, I think this is highly interesting to consider because I can't remember the last time a Donkey Kong game, a full-blown Donkey Kong game, was actually made in-house. The Country series was made by Rare, right? Donkey Kong 64 wasn't necessarily in-house either. So, like, when's the last time they really went in-house? Donkey Kong Racing wasn't in-house. I mean, are we going all the way back to Donkey Kong in the arcades? I mean, the OG Donkey Kong overall has sold like over 60 million across all platforms it's ever been on in arcade units, right? Uh, the old school Donkey Kong Country back on SNES uh, sold about 10 million, and Donkey Kong Country Returns and Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze have not come anywhere close to the sales of the original Donkey Kong. So uh, I, I think that they are looking at this as, hey, you know what? If we take Donkey Kong back and do something with it internally, and it's the 40th anniversary of Donkey Kong this year, maybe something magical can happen. So we'll see. Uh, we know they haven't really added new content to Odyssey 2 outside of that mini Luigi update uh, and or that Luigi mode, you know, the hide balloon thing. So I, I feel like uh, maybe instead of Odyssey 2, what we're really going to end up getting is a fully 3D Donkey Kong game made with the Mario Odyssey engine. Now that would catch me by surprise. That is a sort of E3 announcement that would come out of left field. So, that's what Andre's Restart reported from Samus Hunter. Let's get into this other stuff because we have a side note here. Today, Bowser plus DK, that's right, Bowser plus Donkey Kong kicks off a Mario Kart Tour today in Mario Kart Tour for your phones. So, why is Donkey Kong getting more attention? 40th anniversary, of course. But I'm just saying, updated render, Donkey Kong events. Is this leading into a Donkey Kong announcement? Just throwing it out there. All right. Next up, uh, we have a big, long laundry list of stuff uh, from a Twitter user known as Eclipse underscore TT. These aren't specifically for E3 2021, although it's obvious some of this stuff would be announced at E3 2021. Uh, a big thing to also note in here before we get into it is that there were some documents out there from this Epic versus Apple lawsuit that showed that Epic actually had plans to put Metroid, a.k.a. Samus, Iran into Fortnite. We obviously know Halo uh, for you know, Master Chief was in there. We've we seen Tomb Raider, Laura Croft, you know, Kratos. So I think that this was a plan for Fortnite to kind of bring the whole gaming industry together. Nintendo has worked closely with Epic in the past, hence the Fortnite bundled Switch. But I do wonder if they're waiting to announce this. Like, if it's possible the Samus is still coming to Fortnite, but that's like an E3 announcement to package along with some Metroid Prime 4 trailer or something like that. Anyways, that's just that that's something on the side. That's something we actually know it was a thing. It it came out of the lawsuit. All right. All right. So the following are uh ports and or remasters, like ports from other systems or remasters coming to Switch. Uh according to at Eclipse underscore TT on Twitter, who claims to have multiple sources. If he ends up wrong in this stuff, we're never going to cover him again. I don't, I, I, I've don't. i gone back through this person's Twitter account. They don't have a lot of leaks and rumors. So 
It could be clout chasing. This is where the tinfoil hat comes into play. I'm not sure on any of this stuff. The prior stuff, the Donkey Kong game, that brief Samus Fortnite thing, that stuff I feel like has a lot of um, value. This following stuff is more like maybe a pipe dream, but it's not. It's nothing too crazy. That's that, that's the thing. That's what makes it interesting. So these are apparently games coming to Switch. Not all the games, but some games coming to Switch in 2021 and 2022. Uh, and the first batch here are ports and remasters, including Dragon Ball Z Kakarok, which that's been rumored is coming to Switch forever. Um, Dark Souls 2 Remastered. Tales of Destiny, the original PS2 game. That apparently will be remastered and come to Switch. I assume that will come to other platforms as well. Uh, and apparently Zelda games, including Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. So, I mean, that leads into all the other Zelda rumors, right? All right. Uh, these following games uh, will be ported and possibly remastered, but definitely ported. Fossil Fighters from the DS slash 3DS. I can see that getting like an HD treatment. Um, Time Splitters, uh, you know, the back of the PS2, GameCube version, Xbox version. Apparently that's going to be ported or remastered uh, for Switch. Some Sonic game. He was not specific on what Sonic game it's going to be, but some sort of Sonic game from the past. And then something Virtual Boy related. So some sort of Virtual Boy, one of the Virtual Boy games or something. Maybe I don't know. I, I I'm just I'm just saying what he says here. The following then are new games. These are brand new entries in existing IPs or just brand new games in general. So there'll be a new Mario Strikers, a new Warrior Wear, a new Radiant Historia, a new Metroid 2D side scroller. Which by the way, that's following up other rumors that that might be coming uh, a new sonic spin-off game i mean okay sonic is gaining popularity the movie did really well um he's unsure about these last three uh he only has one source on them but he put it out there anyways ring ring fit adventure plus which would not surprise me by the way we got we fit plus ring fit adventure plus uh but what's interesting about the ring fit adventure plus is he mentions new joy con features does this mean we're getting new Joy-Cons that have new features that want to be taken advantage of? Remember how we had Wiimote Plus? Are we getting? Are we about to get Joy-Con Plus? Hence, needing a Ring Fit Adventure Plus? I don't know. I know everyone wants new Joy-Cons. Switch Pro, we'll see. Uh, and then he says there's going to be a Mii slash Rockstar game. So essentially, Nintendo's partnering with Rockstar, letting them use Miis uh, to create sort of a Guitar Hero kind of game. Uh, so that, you know, rock band style or something like that. Uh, and then he claims, at least from one of his sources, that there's going to be a reboot of Earthbound, which would then make a lot of sense why we haven't gotten Mother 3, because they would have all their efforts put into a reboot. Now, again, I don't put a lot of stock in the things from at Eclipse underscore TT. We're covering him just because it's something that we can verify. It's something that we can point to. It's not like going on a 4chan thread where everything's anonymous and we have no idea, no way to track things. I could track this account. I know who posted it, and I can kind of go from there. And if this stuff doesn't come true, then, hey, look, at Eclipse underscore TT just goes in the trash. Not like Samus Hunter, though. Samus Hunter has been pretty legit. So that's why I want to separate things out. We started with the stuff that's likely legit, and then we went to the stuff that, you know, is hot trash. Now, uh, I do plan to reach out to Samus Hunter today and see if there is some additional information uh, on other games that Samus Hunter hasn't put out there yet that potentially we can maybe talk about in a future video because I would like to get anything possible uh, ready to go because I do want to have a massive E3 predictions video uh, coming out either as a podcast episode or just as a general piece to talk to you guys about my expectations for E3. Three. So you guys let me know what you think about all these rumors uh, down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about these videos. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like. Be sure to check out our E3 2021 coverage. Um, I know I did a little skit at the beginning, but I'm not even kidding when I say we're giving away $3,500 worth of stuff during E3. We're going to have over 345 winners. We're getting new partners every single day, new commitments every single day, from physical items to digital items to consoles to accessories. It doesn't end. It's going to be the biggest giveaway in channel history. So many winners and competitions, entertainment value, reactions, game announcements, new trailers, Breath of the Wild 2. Woo! Get ready. This E3 is going to be one of the biggest events in channel history and maybe one of the biggest events, at least in my life. So, I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime. And as always, I need to get back on the phone. Doug Bowser is talking about Breath of the Wild 2 demos. I got I to gotta get myself one of those. So, see you.